Hello everyone and welcome back into this new video of Minecraft. So, uh, if you didn't if you don't recall, uh, last episode we started working on the pumpkin and melon farms and we came up, well, came up. I built <laughs> composed uh, the minecart unloading station uh, of uh, the final design itself. So, in this episode we are simply going to uh, well, finish off the the chunk farm. So, uh, it is a chunk. We have to fill in this uh, whole uh, area above here. Well, we first will be uh, working on the rail that goes, uh, that will travel underneath uh, the, uh, the farmland. So we have a, a layer of cobblestone, a layer of rails and powered rails on which uh, the carts will run. And after that, we will simply have to put down the farmland put down the seeds and after that comes the well the most tedious part which is uh, we have to make a checkboard of uh, pistons and observers which will then be topped off by a, a, a last layer of uh, node blocks and uh, stone blocks or well solid blocks uh, it's not the, that complicated of a design, but uh, the sheer size of it uh, makes uh, the process quite painstaking because, especially for gathering all the observers and all the the pistons, will uh, require quite a lot of them, and you have to pay, to place them facing downwards. So that's also a hassle on its own. Well, uh, I'll go ahead and uh, start working at least on the first parts and we will meet again once I've, uh, uh, well, completed the bottommost part uh, uh, where the rail will be going. Okay, so welcome back. I've finally managed to uh, work out the whole railway. Uh, it took uh, much longer than expected because I had to move everything by one block and if you were wondering why I've started well at least I've partially switched over to uh, Deep Slate is because well in the next craftings namely the pistons and the observers we're gonna require a lot of cobblestone so just to spare every tiny little bit because we don't have much uh, so i've also managed to make a, a couple of improvements uh, mainly uh, by compressing uh, the whole design i managed to uh, well uh, spare a couple of blocks on on the borders you can see over uh, before it previously extended over uh, two blocks in, more in this way and two blocks more in this one so I managed to compact it a little bit and now we have this uh, very dense design it's not extremely walkable but uh, it's accessible this, at least you can see every, each and every part I've made plenty of use of the fact that the uh, uh, redstone can travel on, uh, underneath uh, uh, half blocks namely stairs and slabs this way uh, we managed uh, yes to spare a couple of blocks and but it was very painful having to tear down e almost everything uh, well where you see cobblestone it's because I didn't move anything like this one I just had to basically tear down this uh, the the other rail which was uh, over here in this block and move it over on this uh, on this side but unfortunately, I also have to had to move uh, everything concerning well the unloading mechanism by one block, meaning that I had to move this one block f further towards the rails, and I had to move away one of these. Here, I kept it the same because well, obviously, having reduced the dimensions uh, allowed me to uh, spare me the hassle to remove these last couple of blocks. Okay, so that made it aside, um, we have the the entire, well, the whole railway. Uh, you can see uh, that, well, the, the minecarts now can travel independently, 
most interesting is here on the uh, on the angle. Uh, I had to do this little well adjustment because it's uneven. So we have uh, basically a one. It's uh, in order to for the manka to just uh, go back the same way it came. We had to do this little trick uh, using this lever. I managed to well to do it on both sides. And now, as you can see, uh, they stopped over here for a second, for a split second, and then got back uh, running because they don't have anything to unload at the moment. Uh, well, I can get rid of them for the time being at least because we don't have any crops growing and are harvesting, so they don't need to just do that. And uh, that's it. Oh, well, I can take away this one. Yes. Now uh, we have to, well, cover everything with uh, dirt, put down the water sources, till the soil, and then we can move on on the last phase, which is the most uh, painful. But before that, I, it's highly likely I will have to go uh, on a material hunt, especially quartz, because I don't have much quartz. And as I said previously, it's highly likely I'm going to have to gather some cobblestone, because I have none. So, see you in a bit. Okay, so I chose to uh, do to snuck in a quick time lapse, just because uh, so you can uh, while uh, you can watch me <laughs> build the dirt layer in our farm, which is well the core part of uh, all the structure because it's where the pumpkin and melons are going to generate. I can make a couple of announcements, commentaries on news and uh, stuff like that uh, that happened recently which I want to talk about. Mainly uh, Minecraft Live, which uh, uh, took place uh, last Sunday, so a week ago. And, uh, well, I followed the, the event live, uh, mainly looking forward to uh, Minecraft-related news, so the upcoming updates, the upcoming content. Uh, they released quite a few of, uh, well, uh, let's say news bombs, <laughs> scoops, uh, <laughs> uh, mainly the auto crafting, which is a feature many, 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 many people were looking forward to. Uh, so yes, it's a, a welcome addition to Minecraft, uh, especially uh, for certain farms, especially uh, for example the iron farm, which no longer will require. Uh, you to go empty the chest periodically. Instead, you can just uh, put in uh, an auto crafter and craft uh, uh, your iron blocks. Hooray! After that, uh, well, uh, the results of the mob vote. I was a little bit deluded that uh, the the armadillo won. I personally voted for the crab because I was uh, well hoping, well, looking forward to uh, using the the crab claw since it gives uh, one extra reach, uh, or well, uh, it allows you to reach uh, uh, one block uh, more away. As a builder, it's very handy because uh, uh, it, w you, it wouldn't restrict you anymore to uh, mainly build uh, walls three high, instead you could bo build them four high, which is quite a change, a good change. But uh, that's matter aside, let's get back to, to our our video. Okay, welcome back. Land tilled and well, uh, seeds, seeds seeded. <laughs> well, at least uh, for the pumpkins. I don't have uh, many melons, therefore uh, I have I'll have to wait over there that the melons produce some more well plants, and then then I can just get the the, the seeds or uh, these start producing. Uh, so, here we have already uh, everything, we now just require the pistons and the uh, observers. As I said previously, it's highly likely I will need to go uh, on a material hunt. We do not like iron, luckily enough, <laughs> but we may lack uh, redstone, I'm not sure about that. Uh, but for that, we should be able to well, uh, use the cleric downstairs uh, to gather Oh, well, I think I may have just enough redstone. But we will definitely uh, require more cobblestone and more quartz. 
So uh, I'll just go ahead uh, and uh, spare you the tedious material gathering and we will uh, see ourselves when I have managed to find everything. Wakey, wakey, rise and shine. Good morning to everyone. Okay, so uh, it's been a, a little while. I've started working on the topmost level of our farm. It's not finished, not yet. Uh, we still die, please. Uh, we still, well, uh, need to also gather all the materials and. But I wanted to show you how it's going to look like and how it works. So, here is the topmost layer. As you can see here, we have uh, a layer of uh, pistons and uh, mixed in. You can see it uh, if we go down underneath. Observers. The observers basically are uh, constantly watching the, the stem growing. When a stem grows, uh, uh, above the, the observer there is a solid block, so uh, the observer reads the, the state change and releases an impulse, and then the impulse uh, basically transmits over to the node blocks. Why node blocks? Because uh, if we were to use solid blocks, uh, well, first of all, uh, the redstone signal wouldn't pass, but also uh, because uh, they force update the the pistons because due to some weird minecraft mechanics there is the issue that pistons m sometimes may extend but not retract and the node blocks there I'll just to avoid that we can just test it using some ball mail you've seen the the pistons have uh, dropped down because uh, this observer read an update so uh, uh, I've been recording for quite a while, so uh, I am um, I'm going to complete the, the rest of it off camera. And uh, I thank you very much for following me, and I will see you in the next episode, in which we are going to well see the finished farm. And uh, let me know if you want me to record straight away building. Uh, uh, storage room for for the farm itself. Well, now that there is a part working, it may be better to just stop at the farm. Okay. So uh, yes, as I was saying <laughs> before, we get in sidetracked. <laughs> I get that very uh, quite a lot. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want me to uh, record straight away, like say a uh, part three in which I build the storage room uh, or not because we can also uh, do something else and uh, leave a like if you enjoyed well watching me build a, a farm <laughs> another one and uh, I will see you in the next episode bye bye